People in the UK have a real problem with claiming people that aren't theirs. Innocent mistakes, under-researched subject matter, unreliable information, or perhaps something more sinister. Regardless of the cause, Irish people being labelled as British in the UK media has become a bizarrely consistent phenomenon, and as such, I started doing some digging. I arranged a meeting with a representative from the media regulator to ask some basic questions and to see if they were even aware of the problem. What I discovered shook me to the very core. Oh yeah, we know. Uh, we just do it to wind you up, if I'm being honest. I mean, Sir Ronan, for example, as if a name with three vowels in a row could possibly be English. A shocking discovery. I pressed for further information. So it's completely on purpose. I mean, is it an organised effort or random or do you set specific targets? No, we're not too fussy about who we call British, as long as it gets a reaction. Has anyone not gotten a reaction? Bob Geldof. You guys seem pretty hard to be rid of him, to be honest. It was a lot to take in, but I was just scratching the surface. I soon learned that the game of mistaken identity doesn't end with people. Well, the weather forecast is our real secret weapon because it allows us to claim not only people, but entire countries. So, for example, when we do the UK forecast, we have to include Northern Ireland. But if we feel like pissing you off, we'll just put in the whole of Ireland and not make the distinction. So it just sits there, unaddressed, eating away at you. While we know it's such a minor thing that you never actually mention it, despite the fact that it's burning you up inside. I'll admit, it got to me. I thought I was reaching the end of this bizarre conspiracy, only for one more stunning revelation to be laid on me. This seems to be quite a vast and well-funded operation. I mean, just how high does this go? Oh, all the way to the top. Meaning? The Queen. The final piece of the puzzle. The Queen herself. I managed to get a hold of documents detailing her involvement in the project, codenamed Operation Paddywhackery. As if to remove any doubt, an official statement from the Queen herself celebrating the launch of the project was found as well. It read as follows. While we can no longer control the Irish, we can certainly piss them off so much they'll wish they never left. But the work must begin in earnest now, as the way to total Irish indignation is a long one. Much like the way to Tipperary, England. <laughs> I'll bone up, but you see what I'm getting at. A harrowing discovery. But once the reality set in, I began to see the funny side. I mean, I suppose a bit of friendly banter between nations can't be such a bad thing, you know? Exactly. I mean, to be honest, we're the ones with egg on our face after the Euros. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I mean, even still after the tournament, who would you say was the best English player of the Euros? Probably Robbie Brady. Don't you fucking dare! Hey, thanks very much for watching. Uh, big thanks to the Fratocrats for appearing. Um, I highly recommend their channel. Go subscribe to them. Hey. Some of my favourite sketch comedians on YouTube. Um, and yeah, like, subscribe, share. Have sex with us. Ha and have sex with we're, us. We're about to have a three way. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Sick of that tie. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Woo! Tune in next time. <laughs>